Welcome to our first ever cruise vlog. We spent two weeks on the Miranda Discovery and here we're going to show you what life is like on board. We're going to start with our embarkation and first day at sea of our Red Sea cruise. We flew from Manchester to Naples which took just under three hours and this is where we joined the ship. It's about 30 minutes transfer from Naples airport to the ship and that went by in no time. We got him, we got him, we're going on board. By the time we got to the ship it was 10 o'clock in the evening and as you can hear the safety drill was already taking place. After a very efficient embarkation, we were soon on the ship. Last year we spent two weeks on this very ship going up to the Northern Lights and we were really excited about being on board and as soon as we walked through it was so lovely to see some familiar faces. We were given a lovely warm welcome by Danielle, the hotel manager. I'll bet for you too. We'll see you later. Trying to find our cabin now. So, uh, following poorly. So it's 8552. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Our first experience of a junior suite. This is going to be epic. <laughs> We're stuck. <laughs> Do you have to put a card in a hole? Oh, how lovely. Big. Isn't it? Look at the room. Wow. Excellent. Oh, and we got oh. some bubbly. Woo! Oh, Just what we need after a very long day. Wow. Open the curtain, Sonny. Open the bubbly, open the curtain. Oh, look. Two sunbuds. Two chairs. <gasps> this is going to be amazing. Oh, fab. And this is Naples. I am. So let's get that bubbly open, honey. Party time. We got bubbly and chocolate strawberries. Look. Thank you, Claudia. And a lovely little note saying, Welcome aboard and my favourite bloggers. So, hope you have a great cruise. Look forward to catching up. Love from Claudia. So, that has just absolutely made our day. So, let's get it open, honey. Oh, I nearly fell over. Hey, <laughs> Oh, and we're sweet and we're loving our sweet already. Get a bit of emotion. <laughs> the cruise is just off to the best start. Here you are, my sweet. Oh, dear. Okay, I know. I was so, so, so. Cheers, everyone. Here's to a great cruise. What do you say, Anki Man? What she said. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. <gasps> After a lovely glass of bubbly, we headed up one deck to the pool deck. For all you fish and chip lovers out there, this is the Snack Shack. Open daily until 6, they also serve fried chicken, burgers, salad sandwiches and also lovely chocolate brownies. As it was nearly midnight, the pool party was just starting to wind down. But one nice thing for us was we managed to bump into our favourite cruise director on the high seas, Mr Gavin Carroll. It was so good to be back on the Morella Discovery. It was like coming home. A very cold Peroni and a glass of Sauvignon Blanc went down very, very well. 
We finished off our first night in the live room, being entertained by the fantastic band New Generation. One of the beauties of having a balcony is, you never know what you might wake up to. We woke up to an active volcano. Now how many people can say that? Stromboli is found north of Sicily and is only one of three active volcanoes to be found in Italy. It's been almost continuously erupting for over 2,000 years. After watching Stromboli disappear into the distance, it was time for breakfast. Morning all. Good for sure clean for later. Yeah, I think we're going to be today. Yeah, uh, just having some breakfast in the island's buffet. You say it's a pretty, pretty lovely place to sit. What a view! Right at the front of the ship. After breakfast, we headed to the live room. The live room is the home of the casino. It also hosts afternoon quizzes, bingo. They show films in here, and it's also the place for your nighttime entertainment. And today, it's the home of the World Cup Final, England against South Africa. Who have we here on the balcony? Um, after the disappointing resort of the rugby, we retreated to the balcony, but we've got a strawberry colada and a bottle of peroni, so all good. Can be disappointed with this view. Perfect. We've just. <laughs> You're looking a bit sleepy, Paul. Just had a snooze. <laughs> Just had a lovely afternoon nap. So now we're off to sample afternoon tea. Back in the island's buffet, which seems to be our... We've been there a few times in 24 hours, haven't we? That's because we like food. We do like food. So, yeah, so well, let's take you to see what afternoon tea entails. Right, it's back to where we started. It's the Island's Buffet, but this time it's for afternoon tea. This is available from 3 until 5. With a selection of finger sandwiches and rolls, there's also cakes, scones, clotted cream and jam, and today's special was a warm butterscotch pudding with custard. We thoroughly enjoyed afternoon tea and this impromptu performance by one of the talented waiters. Ladies, we found love right where we are, honey. We found love right where we are. Boom, boom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With afternoon tea done, we decided to have a nice stroll around the sun deck and the promenade deck and then thought it would be a good idea to head back to the balcony and watch the sunset. Unfortunately, it was a little disappointing today, but hey, you win some, you lose some. It's dressed to impress night tonight, so we put our glad rags on and headed to the atrium. The atrium is probably one of our favourite places on the ship. And tonight we were entertained by the fantastic saxophonist Vitaly, and then we enjoyed the captain's address. Now time 
for our captain to dress. So would you please put your hands together for our captain. Let's have a huge round of applause for Captain Hugh Maynard. Thank you, Gavin. Got that microphone fixed. Well, thank you very much. Well, very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? Good. Good. You look fantastic, resplendent in your gear. Great. That's what you packed it all for for this special event this evening, our Dress to Impress evening. Tonight we decided to have our dinner at Restaurant 47 on Deck 4. Morella operates an anytime dining system, and if there's a particular table you like, you can ask to be sat there, and if it's not available, they will pay you when it's ready. It's dinner time! There was an excellent selection on the menu tonight, but we chose prawn cocktail in a spiked Bloody Mary sauce, a beef wellington which was cooked to absolute perfection and all finished off nicely with a chocolate souffle and custard. After an excellent dinner we headed to the Broadway Lounge. Situated on deck 4 it holds 800 people and on our cruise there were shows at 8.30 and quarter past 10. Tonight's show was called The Best of Broadway. Featuring some of the best songs from West End shows such as Chicago and Cabaret, but they definitely saved the best till last with Carol's favourite ever musical, The Amazing Lion King. Another thing we love about Morella is the show team not only perform in the theatre, but perform in the lounges too. Tonight it was Lauren's turn and she put on an excellent performance. The live entertainment was finished off in style by the excellent party band New Generation. Our first sea day on the Morella Discovery had come to an end, but please do subscribe because episode 2 is coming soon. <laughs>